Heliopolis Flavorland. Working on collaboration. The province of Flevoland is one of 12 regional public authorities in the Netherlands. Flevoland is convinced about the necessity and added value of digitalized spatial plans. Recent developments in the use of geo-information caused us to change towards new ways of working, which resulted in the project Geopolis. We had to integrate all geo-information of several policy sectors within the regional organization into one consistent spatial plan. One example of this type of collaboration is the long-term regional plan or Omgevingsplan as we Dutch call it. Here we manage to integrate all legal policy texts and map objects into one digital plan for citizens to consult and to discuss. of the Dutch province of Flevoland. It is not only national laws and regulations, like the new law on spatial planning, but also European directives like the Inspire Directive or the Malta and Aarhus treaties that sparked this type of applications for geo-information. We all work towards a more transparent government that aims for a reduction of the administrative burden. The mission is to act decentral if feasible and only centralized when it is required. The role of the regional public authority changes, the province becoming more and more the governing agency for an ongoing policy development chain. We collaborate in policy chains on development plans, which makes digital exchange of geo-information a necessity. The regional planning is developing rapidly in our world. This has consequences for the way we work together. It has become imperative to think and plan in integrated ways supported by structured exchange of policies, intentions and information between all actors. Water management, environmental issues, living conditions and economical factors are all areas of consideration and deliberation for example. If one seeks to change the conditions in a certain region, one has to think in terms of an interconnected system. Working practice in local government is currently characterized by sectoral silos. The new Dutch law on spatial planning aims for more integrated environmental policies, but it does not provide guidelines for the exchange of information between different policy sectors. The new law does prescribe how deliberation about the regional plans should be facilitated through internet services preliminary to the decision process, however. To ensure integrated policy development and information exchange, Flevoland has set the following conditions for our working methods in policy chains. Work with well-defined location-based objects in legal plan texts and legal maps. Engage in uniform exchange of information in the policy development chain. Use geo-information as a means to the deliberation process about policies rather than the presentation of the outcome of the deliberation process. It is not always easy to work under these terms. Plans are subject to differences in interpretation because different sectors deliberate matters in different languages and citizens do not know the jargon of the trade. The same word could have a different meaning in different policy areas. This is called semantic interoperability. Standards about meaning did all over Europe and Flevoland now contributes to this discussion applying the well-developed IMRO keyword listing for planning in the Netherlands. The province of Flevoland recently developed a new way of working in policy development chains because this new way involves local authorities, water boards and all other partners involved in the planning and deliberation process. We call this way of working the policy chain approach. In view of Flevoland, the easy navigation and interoperability of spatial plans is imperative for this way of working. We keep an eye on the specific role of the province of Flevoland as the public authority in this process. The Omgevingsplan is now already organized in compliance with and even beyond the format for new Dutch laws on spatial planning to support all actors. 
The digital version of this legal plan can be found at www.omgevingsplan.flevoland.nl The changes in the way of working have also had consequences for the cartography within the province of Flevoland. The Geo-ICT department and cartography have been integrated to avoid the internal silos. Maps used to be made after policies and regulations were formulated. Today, maps are the source and enabler of idea formulation and policy development rather than a translation of consolidated legal texts. This application of maps generates an overview of policy effects and, as important, of the deliberation process leading to policy decisions that is much more transparent to the participants. The actors can balance different interests and compare different ideas and scenarios better due to this approach. Important is to make geographical information an active part of the deliberation process leading to policy. The reorganization towards this way of working does not come easy. The exchange of information with other public authorities did require additional attention, especially with those who did not put so much emphasis on interoperability of information. It all requires special care for people involved in the working process as well in order to horizontalize the silos and agree on the same terms together. This is one long learning process for everybody involved. Users and actors in the policy formulation chain can now add their own information or ideas, consult the existing situation and change the data themselves. Anything can be done with digitalized information. Nowadays, the static data can be rendered into dynamic overview quite easily. This way, geo-information is a fantastic aid to develop regional plans together with all actors involved. One can simulate past and future plans and share ideas, research reports and discussion items envisioning future developments, even in 3D if necessary. We have tested this approach with the most ambitious region for nature and recreation in the Netherlands, the Oostvaarder Vault. This 3D rendering is only an example of how the area could look like, but it shows a splendid way to visualize plans and support discussions and evaluations about a joint future of the region. If we would all speak a transparent language, we would decide faster and better, and we would support working together by enabling collaboration itself. So, speak a transparent language, one language, one source, Geo, go! Then, the sky is the limit!